Here's a chocker for you folks. Walter's finally getting around to continuing the bench grinder project. Probably going to be several parts, several more parts to this bench grinder series. And I hope you choose to follow, follow along as I complete my bench grinder. Hello my friends and we're tankering. Always fun to tanker. I was working on my GoPro bracket yesterday. Needed to use the grinder and I still haven't finished my grinder project. You can see the stand here. I had this grinder just sitting on top of this thing. Made the mistake of plugging it in and turning it on. That powerful motor's got so much centrifugal force it was vibrating right off there. I had to hang on to it until it stops spinning. It takes five minutes for it to quit running when you unplug it. Nothing to do but wait till it quits spinning. So we're going to finish our grinder project today. I'm a bit of a hoarder when it comes to salvage and stuff. Here, for example, here's a project I've been meaning to get around to. It's an old vacuum cleaner. It works perfectly well, but the wife claims she can't get any bags for it anymore. We've got two or three other vacuum cleaners that are much newer. But I got to looking at that thing. And I've always wanted to build a forge. You can take small fan motors or whatever and get enough air pulling through a, a line to build you a forge, put some air through there. But it seems to me if I take that thing apart, there must be a dim dandy little motor in that thing that would blow air to the moon and back. Anyway, I'm going to take it apart one of these days just to see what makes it kick. And if we come out with a usable blower motor, that's fine too. She wanted me to haul it straight off to the landfill. I said, no, nah, that's something to tinker with. I'll put it in the garage with my other junk. But it's going to stay there for a little while. We're going to get back on this project here on the grinder because I'm going to take it in the basement and set it up. I'm all the time needing to sharpen my chisels or something or grind something. Having to come out here to the garage to do it's a pain in the tail. I'm going to put it down there by the workbench in the basement. I've looked all over from a tape measure. I had it yesterday. I don't know where I left it. Here's a piece of wood. Salvage from an old dresser I disassembled. And I think that'll do just fine for this. I was going to cut a metal plate and put on top of this stand, but as long as I got a piece of wood bolted on there, something to attach the grinder to, that'll be quite sufficient. So that's what we're doing today. Let me cut this piece of wood and haul this stuff to the basement. We're going to see what makes it tick. I'll use this sheetrock square for my tape measure today. I'm not going to spend all day looking for it. All right, let's drag out the saw and cut our piece of wood. Well, let's see. Better find out how long we need. We just make it extra long to trim it down. Uh, let's measure it right now. All right, let's make that piece of wood. Hmm, a little extra long. In fact, if I go even longer, I could have a shelf out there to put a cooling box, put some cooling water. I'm gonna make that cotton picker 18 inches. I can always saw it off. And in the meantime, I'll, in the meantime, I'll get some use out of this piece of wood. I can't see running out and buying a piece of wood when I got this perfectly good piece of wood. It looks like poplar, probably. I don't know. Could be oak. Feels awful hard. Whatever it is, it's going to get used for a grinder bracket. Eighteen inches, I said. Where's my pencil? Eighteen 
Everything from nothing makes something. We can always shorten it down later because I can't stretch it back out. Anyway, that's what I'm doing out here today. I'm going to saw this piece of wood, haul this thing to the basement. As soon as I find the right screws, we'll be bolting my grinder on there. Get my saw. It's got enough dust on it to choke a horse, but I believe we can manage two cuts with it. I do this in the garage, but the lighting is poor. Ooh, a little spider, get away. I don't like you. I've been using this saw for years and for years I've been saying I'm going to stick a new blade on it and I still haven't got around to doing that. Probably just go out and buy a new saw knowing me. Voila, one board.